Hello everyone! Welcome back to Afraid of Monsters. We, uh, yeah, hopefully this part isn't nearly as annoying as the last one, I mean... It was... oh, new area. Sound dogs! Sound dogs! Sound... Oh, I only have two health, these bleep... Sound dogs, this might take me a while. Well, I can make a run for this area, hopefully. And hopefully the sound dogs can't get me there. Let's keep trying. These sound dogs... No, it was so close. Seems like this, this, because they can't really, they're not really good at doing their sound shit through, um... Ah, stupid sound dog, get out of my way! I should probably take a proper look at them and see how they've been remodeled in this game. Ah, that was close as well. Get in there. This shouldn't be so hard. There we are. Perfect. Now, there's a switch in here, what does it even do? It, oh, it just raises that thing, I don't know why we couldn't have just... Under there. Now we've got to take out these sound dogs. They seem to have skulls. Human skulls for uh, heads. Ah, don't dodge my shots, sound dog. Did they only take two bullets? I think so. But I don't have many to spare. Is that them all? Is that them all gone? Is that the sound dogs gone? Ah! No! Get here, let me stab you. Phew. That's all the sound dogs gone. Yeah, about the last part, I shouldn't moan for too long, but it was just like, you know, it was silly. Hopefully this part shouldn't be nearly as long, it's like... What's silly about it was the fact that the tunnel you couldn't go into, and the lift had a hole in it for absolutely no reason that I kept going into because I assumed... Well, I might have assumed I was meant to. Let's shoot this one. You're not meant to be that strong, what the hell are you playing at? There we are. Now, is there another one out there? Don't lag on my game. Well, at least we're out of the hospital, at least we don't have to rely on torch uh, batteries for so long. And they are going up, they do restore. I never realised that. Um, yeah, apparently, because this is the director's cut, apparently in the original you didn't have the torch battery bullshit, which I think is actually a lot better. I, th I think that would be something that would usually be... I mean, the battery shit would be in the original, but not in the uh, director's cut. Where am I supposed to go now? One of these doors open. Come on, game, work with me. Maybe there's, like, ammo around here or something. Batteries. Am I meant to crouch onto this car and then onto the police van? Like, to get high up somewhere? Like, Let's try that. Why can't I just jump? There we are. Now, uh, more sound dogs and I have no bullets. And a zombie over there. Um, and lots of fire, I should probably uh, point out. What am I supposed to do here? I can't jump into the fire only, the game just stops me from doing it. Um, right. Uh, right. Am I supposed to stab the car? Is that like the new thing now? Stab things rages until they let you through. There's nothing around here that I could possibly I mean, that's the only route through, but I can't use it. It doesn't actually let me go through. Ah, oh, you prick. I can't jump off this car at any point. I can't crouch off it. I can't... I can't anything, it seems like. I can stab this light and not do anything. But, yeah, why am I supposed to move the car? I don't think you can drive cars in this game. To kind of defeat the purpose, it'd be a bit of a broken weapon in this game, going from pistols and shotguns to big police trucks, but... Um, yeah, what is going I open up this gate, so it's obviously the way I'm supposed to go. There's no other routes anyway. This game is just... Sometimes it's 
way too tedious. Like the design and the everything, like the. Really? I swear I did try and open that door. You guys are on my side. You guys know I did. So we open that red door now. That's great. And we loaded a new. What? We died? No, what? Well, at least I could do all that shit in one go now. Shoot the sound dogs. Wait for them to actually stop. Doesn't seem to matter where I shoot them, they die in two hits anyway. This one in his ass. Somehow miss. Oh, that's bullshit. Fuck that. I'm reloading. Actually, I had a quick save, didn't I? Or it's way back here for some reason. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck with me. Okay, I, I, I should. Sorry, I did that too early. I should pause the recording and get back to where I was because I should not have died there. You don't want to see me do all this shit again. Come back where I was, and I think it's pretty obvious what killed me. It was this brick. Now, let's go in there again and um, press this switch. Ah, and that, that, probably that prick actually. Uh, yeah, one of them anyway. I don't even see this one. And they die in. Why do they die in different amounts of hits? I know that the gold source engine does not have any type of um, system for, for detecting where you shoot them. And he can't have coded that in, so I do not understand what's going on. Thank you for that. Now let's press this button. It's kind of a dickish move to make, um... To let zombies kill you while you're in the middle of a cutscene. I really should have done something about that. Shotgun ammo, thank you very much. Are we just not going to get pistol ammo anymore? Because, you know, it's kind of appreciated. It's a better long-range weapon. It's better to use when you don't want to waste the shotgun ammo. But, yeah, we opened a door. A red door. A pretty red door. And now we can go around at the perimeter of the area. Probably can't jump down there. Game doesn't even let us do it. So let's not even tr bother trying. Let's go around here and uh oh there's loads of pricks around here, sound locks and all zombies and everything. Oh, piss off, sound dog. Oh, come on. Sometimes they die to one hit, and sometimes they die to three. Like this. Look, hit him twice. It's obviously the scab, but still, I mean, I'm right up close to him. How, look, there we are, one shot, but the other prick killed me. Now, this is just... This is why I'm playing the game on easy, by the way. Because the enemies just seem to have perfect accuracy with all their attacks on you. Let's save after killing each other. Piss off, zombie, you're not even scary anymore. Okay. That's them all dead. Now. Have we. Well, lag. Uh. Ah, don't do that to me! Come on, zombies. All you, that's all you're good for is hopping out from behind you. Stop trying to punch me in the head. Just stab this prick. Alright, he somehow managed to kill me while dying. I know you're there, you prick. Now you die in one hit. Thank you. Out there. Something out there is trying to get me. Head crabs, excellent. Um, am I supposed to go in there? Oh, you pricks. I knew you were there. No, I still know you're there. Can I just please send for some health? Oh, 
Head crabs don't d don't survive shotgun blast. Oh come on! Crabs are also a lot stronger in Half-Life 1 than Half-Life 2, by the way. I can't afford to sit around and try and get headshots, I just can't. We're loading lots of new maps now for some reason. With like the first three levels was all the one same big map, and now we're actually get going somewhere. I'd say going somewhere. Cause I was saying the word getting and going together, like you know that happens on those. What was that? Ah! Oh, not those prick aliens! They only, they might only be at the end of the game. I have a bloody shotgun to try and kill them with. The best long range weapon ever. Fantastic. What am I supposed to do? I mean, you could have given me some pistol ammo game. I mean, it would be very appreciated. I'm not trying to be like, you know, the angry video game nerd or some shit. I actually am getting angry at this game. It's, But I still want to play it because it's good. It's just also bad. Oh, I can shoot. What got me there? Look, I'll go over here again. There's nothing behind me. I know there's nothing behind me. The prick still manages to get me through the thing. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Where is he? Where is he? Get him. We got him! High fives all round, everyone! Oh, and look, pistol ammo. Fantastic. Could have used that. Can we get up here? Because it seems like where we're meant to go. Uh, or up here, perhaps? No, we can't do that either. Um. Well, it's obvious we're meant to go up here, but it's also obvious that we can't. Oh, get your shit out of here! What the hell? There's another one. Excuse me while I stumble around for a bit. Um, no, no. Am I supposed to take like a long route or something? The gate's closed now, so there's literally nowhere else I can go. Game. Oh, look, there is another oh, alien baby thing. I don't even know what they look like in this game, I can't see them. So five hits it seems like. Five hits. Okay, five, no that wasn't. Five hits, that was like ten. What the hell? I can't shoot them through. Gratings. Let's see. Let's 
Get me, get me out of here. Should be doing that a bit more often though, like not shooting things. Is it following me? There's something in here? You're a zombie, go away. I don't care about you. You're, you're useless. Oh shh. Except when you do that. Where am I? Alright, well, I'm here. Get in there. Get in here. Shoot the zombie that's about to appear. Oh, it jumped over there. Shouldn't have shot that one four times. Uh, I think that's enough for another part of Afraid of Monsters. Game. It's a good game. Just, it's a good game. I like your game, you're just, you're just kind of really, really annoying sometimes. But, you know, it's a horror game, it's meant to be scary, it's meant to be hard, it's meant to be troublesome and tricky and trite. But that's another part of, of Afraid of Monsters, I'll have more up soon. See you guys later, bye.